great championship finally underway this weekend and against uh, Cornish Pirates. How are we excited? How excited are we? Sorry to get the league campaign going. Yeah, yeah, very excited. It's um, it's been a long pre-season slash cup 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 campaign so far. Um, yeah, we've all we've all just been kind of looking for this for this date in the diary and um, building up to it. Yeah, great start to the season with those three cup wins. Um, what are we taking from those into into this week? I think there was obviously a mixed bag there in those cup games. Really tough one against Coventry, um, and obviously a challenge as well against Bedford and Amtel as well. Uh, but I think what was key was that we kind of st stuck to our processes, which um, obviously, which obviously we, we, we grind out in training every day, and that kind of helped us get over get, get over the line. Yeah, um, that win against Coventry, very hard hard victory. As you said, kind of grounded out. Um, was that ideal preparation for what's always a very tough test down at uh, down in Penzance? Yeah, yeah, like oh, Coventry, they're going to be one of the best teams in the league this year, and to go away and kind of get get in a, get an away victory there, it's, it's obviously it's pinnacle to going into going into the championship now. Um, yeah, I think like, physically, uh, like set piece wise, scrum line out everything, it was it was obviously it's, it's as hard as it's going to really get in the league. So it's a great it's great that we're that we're used to that standard now, um, and I don't think. Uh, Pirates would be any kind of step back from that. Yeah, Pirates always provide a, a very physical battle. How have we uh, prepared for that this week? Yeah, so we've been focusing um, in, rec in, in, in our detail in around the collision, yeah. collision zone, particularly in defence. Um, we've identified that they've got a couple of key ball carriers yeah. um, and we're going to be obviously um, focusing on, on disrupting them. Um, personally, for yourself, uh, back into full-time rugby this year after a couple of uh, couple of scenes with Richmond. How much are you enjoying it back in back in this kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, loving it. Um, it's been a bit of a shock to the system for the first <laughs> for the first couple of uh, first couple of weeks slash months slash potentially even now. Um, but um, but yeah, no, really really relishing it. There's, there's a good there's a good um, environment here. There's a good setup, obviously, and it's, you know, we're in a, we've got a, got a perfect ingredients to kind of kick on. Yeah, unchanged pack from the uh, Coventry game. Um, is it quite nice to have a bit of cont continuity, especially as a, as a kind of newer player trying to get to get used to it? Um, yes, continuity is good, but obviously we, I can't uh, help but obviously think of the kind of the other tight ends breathing breathing on my on my back. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it is definitely good to get. They let's say comfortable with like it's it's good to get a bit of consistency with like like Lonnie, yeah. Elsie in the front row. It's obviously good to get get that chemistry going. But yeah, we can't forget about those guys that are that are just peering peering back at us. Yeah, how are you finding that partnership with the likes of Lonnie and Jordan in the front row, and also the guys you mentioned it kind of breathing down your neck? There's plenty of competition for places, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely is. Um, it's uh, with 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 Lonnie and Elsie particularly. We've uh, like we're obviously quite scrum focused players. So we like even in and out of training, we're just continuously speaking about it and just talking about how we can kind of get better, which is which is great. And with the competition um, with with Elliot uh, Seawood and uh, and Drum, um, it's obviously good to have them. It's it's kind of collaborative competitiveness rather than like maybe potentially stuff I've been used to in the past. It's like, it's like we're work, kind of working together as a team, um, work, working together to uh, to an end goal really. Just looking kind of ahead at the fixtures, very tough start to the season, Pirates, Jersey, Bedford, um, in a way is it kind of the ideal preparation for everyone to kind of refocus with the, uh, obviously the aim of promotion ahead as well? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it really makes a difference what, what time of the year we play these teams, like I think we're going we're gonna to go into each game equally as, as prepared, like I, I know last year Ealing kind of had a bit of a mishap with a couple of teams yeah. and games, um, but I think now there's been a massive focus on whoever we play, no matter what it is. Like we, we obviously go in well prepared, so it doesn't. I wouldn't be. I, I wouldn't have too much of focus on when we play them because we're going to be playing them at some yeah. point. But it's um, just how well prepared we can be going in, in, each, in each of them games. Yeah, just finally kind of building on that. Um, obviously, starting the season on Sunday, how important and kind of setting the tone could it be if we get a, a good victory there? Extremely. Um, like Pirates are going to be one of the top teams yeah. in the league this year, and we won't want to just go there to win, and which will, which will obviously put out a good statement. But as we said, even if we do well in this game and, and, and win, um, it won't it won't impact the next game at all. We'll have to go into each game fresh-minded.